Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I hope you are in good condition. Today, let's revise about the human heart which came from chapter 3, Transportation. Question 1a, label the following diagram for marks. This is the simple structure of the human heart. The question already provides us with 8 optional answers. Let's start answering the left part of the heart first, which carries the oxygenated blood, blood with oxygen. The upper chamber is the left atrium, meanwhile the below chamber is the left ventricle. This is the pulmonary vein where the oxygenated blood enters the left atrium through it. Between the left atrium and the left ventricle, is the bicuspid valve to allow blood to flow only in one direction. Next, we go to the right part of the heart which transports the deoxygenated blood, blood without oxygen. The upper chamber is the right atrium, meanwhile the below chamber is the right ventricle. This is the vena cava where the deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium through it. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle is the tricuspid valve to allow blood to flow only in one direction. Question B1 between structure F and H, which one has a thicker muscle wall? One mark. Let's review the diagram to compare between F and H. The ventricles' muscular walls are thicker than the atria because they have to pump blood out of the heart. So, the answer should be the left ventricle or H. For B2 question, we have to give explanation about the answer in B1 above, 2 marks. For this question, we should relate the structure and their functions for both left ventricle and left atrium. Let's start to answer by giving the reason for H. H or the left ventricle needs to pump blood out of the heart at high pressure. Meanwhile, F, the left atrium, only receives blood from the body parts. Let's say another question asks you to compare the thickness of the wall between left and right ventricle. How will you answer? Yes, the answer still is the left ventricle because the left ventricle has to pump blood at a higher pressure to reach all areas of the body, but the right ventricle has to pump blood to the lungs only. Question 2 diagram below shows a human heart structure. Which of the valves labeled A, B, C, and D can prevent the backflow of the blood from the outer to the left ventricle? One mark. This is the longitudinal section of the human heart. The outer in this diagram has a donut shaped, meanwhile, the left ventricle position is still the same at the down chamber of the left part of the heart. The question wants us to identify the position of the semilunar valve. Semilunar valve is situated at D. Question 3. Match blood vessels with their characteristics and functions. 3 marks. The lumen is the center space of a vessel. Artery has a small lumen, so match the first diagram as an artery. Vien has a large lumen, then match the third diagram as a vein. Capillary has the smallest lumen as thick as one cell, therefore just match this way. Then we continuing matching to the structures and functions. First, the capillary match to connecting the arteries with the veins. Then, to know the function of vein, we must remember the functions of 
Kappa Munari Ven and Venakava as these are the places where the Vens are situated at. When you read the first box description, it's referring to the function of vena cava, transporting the oxygenated blood back to the heart. Finally, to know the function of artery, we must look back the functions of outer and pulmonary artery, as these are the places where the arteries can be found. When you read the second box description, is referring to the function of outer transporting oxygenated blood out of the heart.